Welcome to a FS19 mod review on the Ravenport map. Today we will be taking a look at our variety of mods, including a flatbed, semi-truck, flatbed, trailer, container, forklift, a few containers, and a transport trailer. All the mods are public and the links can be found down below in the description of today's review. Up first we will be taking a look here at a Chevy C10 flatbed. And the store is located under the cars category. It's a 1966 model year and it has a starting price of $25,000. It has 620 horsepower and holds 80 liters of gas. The main cab part here is color changeable while the top part is as well. I really do like that two-tone look here. Now for wheel options you could get these uh, black steel wheels here or you could get an uh, aftermarket set of rock stars which look very nice much bigger wheels and it does lift the vehicle up just a little. For engines you could get a 5.9 tuned and you could get a 5.9 twin turbo tuned as well or 6.7 when taking a closer look here at this truck, it's a very nicely done truck. It is pretty wide, I will have to say. You guys can see a little bit of the suspension work down there. Alberta license plates and nice looking headlights and a Chevrolet uh, right across the grill. That looks pretty nice. As we do come along to the side, you guys can see a C10 badge over there. Chrome handles, very nice flatbed. It's a single rear wheel with a very wide tire, which is great. And it does have straps on the bed, which is good. Looks like it does have a few straps and LED lights here in the back. It does have a pretty nice looking gooseneck and drop uh, hitch. Once we get this started up, we can see that it does have lights. Now these are the old way of doing the lights as well. It does have brake lights. All of them do work and you guys can see up front everything looks good. On the interior, we do have a pretty detailed dash with working mirrors and this thing looks pretty nice on the inside. Take a look at that roll up windows. Uh, you guys can see it looks like a very uh, nice interior for this older truck. I'm excited to be back here in FS19 doing a review. It looks like recently there haven't been too many mods that have been coming out publicly and I cannot wait for more to come out to do more reviews. Overall the handling of this truck is very nice and it looks like it does have a great uh, diesel sounds and uh, the look of this truck is very nice as well. I kind of like the single rear wheel wide tire. It looks like to me a very similar size to the front. Up next we will be taking a look here at a Peterbilt day cab semi truck and this store is located on the trucks category. It has a starting price of $150,000. It's the Peterbilt 567 by Cayman Modding. This is one very nice truck here. You guys can already see the design features. Only options is color changeable. 600 horsepower. That is a very nice. When taking a close look, you guys can see very nicely done here on the chrome. Very big tires as well. Very low profile front bumper. Might not be the best for off-road hauls, but this thing looks incredible. Take a look at all the detail back here. And two beacon lights up top. Great looking exhaust. Once we hop here on the inside, top speed is 75 miles per hour. All the lights do work here on it, which is great. Take a look at that. And we got two beacon lights up top. Let's take a look here at the front lights. I really do like those headlights, the uh, circle going around them. And on the interior, one very nicely done interior, full interior as well. Mirrors working, even the mirrors up there working, steering wheel gauges. And just take a look at all the detail, the gauges, everything lights up. This is one awesome semi-truck. I cannot wait to put this to work. Home trailers around the farm and around the town. If you do have any cool video ideas here for any of these mods, please let me know down below here in the comments. I really do enjoy using your feedback to help improve the videos and the channel. Overall, one very nice semi-truck, probably one of the best ones that have recently come out, and it looks pretty nice. 
Up next, we will be taking a look here at a Deck Over Wheels trailer. This trailer was converted from FS17 to FS19. It can be found under the low loaders category. Now, this is found on the official website. It has a starting price of $45,000. Now, one thing you guys can see, you could have the low hitch, the high hitch, or the medium hitch as well. The uh, trailer here is color changeable which is great and also wheels are color changeable if you did want to go with like the full blacked out look when taking a closer look here at this trailer you guys can see very nicely done a ton of detail was put into this and I cannot wait to put this to work here a ton of straps great looking wood now these are kind of silver wheels and I really do like them quite a lot let's get it attached to the truck and take a look at the ramps this was one of my favorite trailers back in uh, 17 as well, and it's nice to be here in the new game. When you do press X, the ramps do go down, and uh, you guys can see all the straps do work on it, which is pretty awesome. Very nicely done trailer, and it looks like they do have the new textures here with the uh, new version of Farming Simulator. Up next, we will be taking a look here at a container forklift. In the store, it can be found here under the telehandlers, and you guys can see $145,000. It is color changeable here as well. You could change it to only uh, four different colors, and the uh, rims can only be changed to four different colors as well. This is one very nice looking one. This is a pretty big as well, I will have to say. All the lights do work, the beacon lights do work here on it, and let's take a look here at this. So this fully rotates around, it, uh, let's see, it slides all the way out. That is a pretty high reach, you can definitely stack these very, very high, just take a look at that, wow, that's uh, not even in the camera view, that is just how high that will go. Let's kind of see what else you could do, you could slide it back and forth, and it's just so many different things, which is great. This slides in which is awesome and uh, when you do press X it actually extends all the way and you are able uh, to attach to the 40 foot uh, containers it's attached to one and really take a quick look at it and I actually think we'll attach to a smaller one and you guys since you just fold it down like this and this is awesome though I really do like it quite a lot now one thing is with the scroll on uh, you hold the scroll and it will actually slide the uh, cab which is also a nice thing we'll come over here and let's see if we could get attached to it you could get it right attached and it lifts it up like it's nothing which is awesome we'll take a quick look here at it so when you do hold it down you can move it take a look at that we have to get on the first person view that is pretty awesome you could be all the way back here or right up front if you would like that is a very nice feature as well and it does have a camera view up top so we pick this up really no problem which is great let's pick up the other one which is the much larger one now you can actually do many things here with these containers and you guys can see it looks like we pretty much have bottomed out here and that will be a bit tricky pretty low clearance As you guys can see, it is a bit tricky, not really wanting to go up uh, steep hills, but it is a pretty big machine, and you definitely need momentum. We'll take a quick look here at the bigger container, and let's hop here into the store. So they are actually found here under the objects, under miscellaneous, and these are all the different containers. These look pretty awesome. You have UPS, FedEx, Dell, so many different ones, and then the ones that are featured here are just the plain ones that are color changeable. You guys can see, change the color, and... That is pretty awesome. Now you could actually go on the inside, the doors do open, and they do have areas for the forklifts as well. And then this is a transport trailer, just attaches to them, and that is pretty awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed today's mod review here on the Ravenport map. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for the next one, have a great day, and subscribe for more.